Good morning, it's Friday, November 4th. Thanks for kicking off the weekend with Top Story. If you're enjoying the program, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button below and then head over to the full World Watch show. Now, this is Top Story. 100 years ago today, British archeologist Howard Carter opened up the burial chamber of King Tutankhamun. It was, and still is, the most intact tomb of Egyptian royalty ever discovered, one that provided many insights into that ancient world. Carter's team revealed beautifully preserved artifacts, including the famous golden coffin of the young pharaoh. Among Egyptologists, it's considered perhaps the most important find ever. My great-grandfather says to Howard Carter, what do you see? And Carter famously replies, just wonderful things. And he's looking back at this, in a way, perhaps, theater set of the ancient civilization 3,100 years ago, everywhere the glint of gold. It didn't take long for word of Carter's discovery to spread. Tourists were soon flocking to the Valley of the Kings, hundreds of people waiting in line to get a glimpse of that tomb. Based on the chamber's contents, archaeologists deduced that Tutankhamun was just nine years old when he became king, and his reign was short, lasting only until his death as a teenager. As ever, when a young 19-year-old dies, as was the case with Tutankhamun, there are going to be lots of ideas and questions as to how he died, what brought about his premature death, and there are several theories. Some experts think the young pharaoh suffered a head injury, maybe in a chariot accident. Some say he was attacked by a hippopotamus. Scans of Tut's mummy show a scar on his face, perhaps an indication of foul play. Was the young pharaoh assassinated? Within 10 years of being opened, all the treasures and relics had been removed from Tut's tomb and sent on a museum tour for the world to see. King Tut's mummy is now in a climate-controlled box back inside the original tomb, and his famous face mask is in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Egyptologists have long speculated that there could be a second burial chamber behind that of King Tut. Maybe the tomb of his wife Nefertiti? Even a century after its discovery, the tomb still holds new mystery. Make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news forward slash free video. It's yours to try for free for a whole week. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.